Great. Well, yeah, I'm Shannon Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of Point Guard, a company we launched about a year and a half ago. And we're in Charlotte, North Carolina. And thanks again to Shadow uh, Ventures for letting us be a part of this. We're a facility uh, software that makes facility management easier. Uh, one engineer can manage up to 20 million square feet. That's a 20x improvement over where we are today. Uh, we help building portfolios be more profitable. We've always delivered less than a one-year payback to all our customers. Occupants more satisfied with uh, achieving uh, perfect mechanical comfort uh, during occupied hours. And now in a post-COVID world, we help, we help building owners know if they can manage uh, against the ASHRAE guidelines, against uh, repopulation of buildings. Um, we've seen what we do before in other industries, uh, similar to what security cameras were able to do to security guards, our software is able to do for facility management. We're doing the heavy lifting, walking the building while they're not there, uh, providing 24-7 uh, fully distributed knowledge of what's going on in their buildings. How do we uh, accomplish that, you may ask? Well, we're going beyond where energy analytics was at the, in the beginning of the century and really accessing already deployed technology from the building control system. That is a, uh, a ma amazing amount of data that's already there. We don't need to deploy additional sensors. It's just activating what's already been invested in by building owners. Um, in an average building of, of 200,000 square feet, there may be up to 50 million pieces of data coming out of that building every day, every month. What our software does for building owners and facility teams is allow them to get clear, precise knowledge about how to improve that building and make better decisions. When we design Point Guard, we said data only matters if it knows where to turn a wrench. Who could use our, our software? Well, any building with a modern control system, that's class A office, institutional, hospitality, and retail, and all the facility teams that, um, that manage those buildings. Uh, these are the most important assets in the, in the, in the world. We're starting here and are going to expand from there, uh, but it's a great, a great market to be uh, serving and one that is growing. So we talk about the pain points that we address. Well, a lot of the pain points we address are the facility teams and the emotions they have, which are frustration and confusion, uh, feeling undervalued, exhausted, and overwhelmed. And that's why they come, come to us. And the reason why they come to us is because of the data complexity, just the increasing complexity of the building portfolios they manage, the wide variety of technology, the complaints, the waste that they're being forced to fund and deliver on against the decreased time and training uh, that they have, plus the additional competitiveness, the need to work remotely and provide a safe work environment for the people that are coming back into their buildings. It's Point Guard software that bridges these gaps and resolves those emotions. How do we do it? Well, the core of what we do is really based on longstanding science that's been around for 50 years or more about retro commissioning. Uh, retro commissioning has been studied by Lawrence Berkeley Energy Labs and has proven to be, uh, have a great payback, but it's expensive, often one-off, episodic, and time-consuming. What our software does is turbocharge that. It makes it affordable, scalable, continuous, and fast and focused. And again, having been deployed in over 10 million square feet, we've always had less than a one-year payback against our software. We also provide... Um, additional uh, benefits, including the ability, as I mentioned before, of driving comfort up uh, to a perfect score. Oftentimes, um, buildings we light up will be not even providing mechanical comfort one out of every five days. Um, we allow our customers to, to start entering into preventive and predictive maintenance. 18% uh, of uh, equipment failures are predictable, 82% are random. Uh, using the machine learning algorithms of our software, operating off the real-time data from the uh, building and studying that data, we're able to get ahead of that and remove facility teams from the run-to-fail environment that they're in. Um, we also are allowing them to work remotely. Again, as mentioned, we have a, a lot of technology diversity in building portfolios today. Very rarely is one facility or portfolio, excuse me, uh, one vendor. Uh, getting it up to one pane of glass is critical. Point Guard does that. And then lastly, here's a sample of, uh, of some of the metrics that we uh, resolve for facility teams and helping them look at what is being prescribed by ASHRAE today as buildings repopulate, getting on top of your airflow hygiene. A lot of the customers we have here have been enjoying a lot of these benefits, and there are a lot of great case studies behind each one across all four of these metrics. 
And what we get in our software are some pretty important features. We do have a detachable energy model that's as good as any model or better, really, than uh, anything that's out there today, including some robust benchmarking. Uh, that would be all the buildings in Atlanta for the Shadow Labs folks. But what's really the cornerstone of our software is our performance module, and energy is integrated into that, so it's all up on one pane of glass. And we have really important tools, uh, high power tools for, again, one senior engineer to manage 20 million square feet, finding quickly simultaneous heating and cooling, excessive runtime, managing and modifying set points. But perhaps what we're most proud about are some of our integrations. We have built-in work order system, built-in CMS tools, measurement verification, sensor integration, and demand response, as well as a software that is very configurable and customizable. We believe in amplifying local knowledge. We don't replace it, we just amplify it. Buildings all have different use cases and at the last mile can oftentimes be snowflakes and it's important to recognize that in software. Our path to value is straightforward. Uh, the most important here is getting to the determination point. There's tons of data is how you determine and make smart decisions. And then as you go around and manage and verify, how do you then long-term prevent the same things from happening again? And that's what our software does and how we walk our customers through it. We support them with uh, our facility profit process training uh, modules, including onboarding that we think some of the fastest in the industry in under two weeks, where we have a quick path to value for the customers who uh, use our service. We offer our software as a, a service model and it's cents per square foot, making it very scalable and deployable for most facility teams and most portfolios. Yeah, there's competition. And we, uh, while some, some of our competition may have some of these features, we, we, we're pretty, we're actually absolutely confident none of them have all. Uh, one that we're, again, most proud of is our configurability and flexibility and also the value we provide in top 5% on features at a low price, making this a deployable, scalable solution. And also that we're independent and unbiased. We're not attached to OEMs or other service providers, which is historically what retro commissioning has always been independent. How do you start with us? Well, you start with our snapshot. We have innovated uh, and announced uh, the point guard snapshot. Instead of a pilot, which oftentimes is, um, takes longer, longer than um, most, um, most people don't want to do it because of the time and cost to do it. Our snapshot provides insight into the building owners building with their data in 30 days for a nominal fee. Uh, I don't know what happened to my last slide there, but I'm not going to try to fix it. And the only thing I want to say is that the point guard team is a bunch of uh, developers, data scientists and building engineers in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we've been around for a year and a half uh, and we'll be raising additional growth capital in uh, the fall of 2020. Uh, and thanks again to uh, Shadow Ventures. I love being part of Shadow Labs and we'll be in the Slack chat room for further questions.